All right, everybody. Uh, afternoon. This is Chris with Executive Health Solutions. Had a client today um, that wanted to work on uh, some winging of his scapula. If you don't understand what that is, a winging of the scapula has to do with the shoulder blade on the back. Uh, it sits on, the, on your rib cage. It kind of tips out and you get like a little bit of a fossa or an area where um, the shoulder blade does not sit square up to your rib cage and it kind of um, lifts up. Um, so you know, this guy, uh, this guy uh, is in good shape, likes to work out, but he does have a little bit uh, of problem with the shoulder on the right side being what's called rounded, what's called rounded forward, so anteriorly tilted in um, from doing a lot of like uh, computer and video games and things in front of him. So he was kind of tilted in and had a dent on the back of that shoulder because of that rounding. Now at the end, it's, uh, the uh, winging scapula, it has to do with the serratus anterior muscle um, not holding that shoulder blade down to the rib cage. But if you don't address the other issues of the shoulder being, uh, say, tight in certain areas, some of the internal rotators that keep that shoulder down and in, uh, the subscapularis, uh, the pec minor, the lats, some of those things that we have to stretch out to get first this back here, then we can work on the strengthening. You, you can't really get anywhere with, you could strengthen to the cows come home on the serratus anterior, but if that nerve is, that lung thoracic nerve is shut off, or if that muscle just doesn't have good um, neuromuscular uh, control, it's not gonna work until you get that, that shoulder back in the right position. Now he didn't have any um, shoulder pain, no loss of motion, none of that, but it does set up for future things because of the mechanics of the way that shoulder works. Um, now, luckily he's young and in good shape and I, I'm making this video for him, but I thought that there could be some other people that have this same issue or same questions on that. So I'm gonna run through about uh, four to five exercises that we can do to work on this. Now, this I'm skipping ahead a bit because he has already worked on the stretching of the, the uh, internal rotators, the subscapularis, the lats, the pec minor to get himself. He's actually doing a lot better already with just getting that shoulder back. Now it only wings a little bit when he raises his arm up and down about 90 degrees. I will throw in some of the stretches as well, um, but I think he already has done those and he's gonna look at the, the strengthening ones uh, specific to the straightest anterior. So I'm just gonna kinda go through some and pause for a little bit, get things set up, and then, cause I'm by myself at the gym, I don't have a cameraman, so I'm gonna try to get this set up um, the best I can. Okay, one thing, the first thing we have to work on is that is that stretching of that of that uh, of the pec minor, um, the subscapularis, which is an internal rotator, and maybe even the lats. So I'm going to use the, against the edge of a, a pole here, and as I bring my as I come as I it's going to be hard to see, but as I come forward and bring my chest forward, I want to work on getting my my shoulder back to stretch that front of that shoulder out. If you can see that. So we work on that one here. Pressure on. So I'm bringing my chest forward to you. Have my arm back here to stretch and you can feel that stretch in the pec muscle and kind of in the shoulder so there's you're going to work on that one um, stretch that out okay the other oh, clarity here get focused the other stretch i like is to hang on to something like that and then as i lean down and forward and i flip that arm pull back that way and get a stretch on that lat muscle right in there and stretch 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 pull back and you feel that more in your, in your back and the top of your shoulder and the pec muscle and then come back up I'm just hanging on the edge of a bike like that and pull 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 and stretch all right, all right so here we're gonna try one on the wall I'm gonna show you a straight as anterior exercise for you put the fist on the wall and it's not that way around with all the thoracic it's it's here and then just protrusion see the difference there that's pushed together there's protrusion without all the thoracic rounding so when you get here, and you're, gonna put, you're gonna push into the wall with protrusion, and then rotate the hands up, and then back down, and then relax. Protrusion, and then kind of rotate the wrists or palms up, like that, okay? And just get you that right skip. Okay, thank you. Pause that one. Okay, next one we're gonna do is a, is a push up with a bit of a plus, and then we're gonna lean back to, to um, kick in the serratus anterior and more the shoulder uh, girdle muscles. So hands on the on the floor, up this way. So here's the down part, over here. Protru lift, push up, and then lean back and push, push, push your hands down into the carpet or into the floor. Hold, three, four, five, and then reverse it, come out of it. Okay, again, elbow straight. So you gotta push up, 
here, so you're pushing punch, punch through the floor, lean back, lean back, lean back, push down through the floor, hold, really push down, push down, two, three, four, five. All right, there's that one. Okay, here's a look at that one from the front. Same exercise, just different view. We saw it from the side, now we're gonna see it from the front on. It's here, it's pushing up, up this way. So not down here, but it's bringing the shoulders kind of around and forward protrusion, and then leaning back and pushing forward, 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 holding, holding, holding. Okay, that's the same one. Now, I'm gonna add a little bit of a tweak to that one. If I add a ball in here, we could do, and that light's gonna be all kinds of in my way, isn't it? Let's change the angle here to that. And then with a the ball, he could still do push up, push up, push up here, and then push, and then up, other side, down, up, elbow straight, and push through with that plus. Hold, one, two, three, four, five, down, over here, down, up, and push through it, through it. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. That's a push up one. I'm gonna show you one on a, um, a dip machine as well, and then maybe one other one after that. All right, I almost forgot about the, just the classic um, straightest anterior movement is the, is the anterior, straightest anterior punch or forward. So I'm gonna use an adjustable um, uh, free motion machine, but you could, you could use a band, a tube, attached to something, so you're gonna come out this way, and again, you're gonna to have to try, to try to punch, punch forward. Think like you're reaching up to pick something off a high shelf. You're gonna reach up and, and not, you gotta stay straight up and down, this way, not leaning forward, stay up and tall, and you're gonna punch and reach up for something, reach up for a, a high shelf, and then down, slow, 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 controlling that step, you don't let it wing, slow down, there's one. So punch and then reach up, reaching for a high shelf, grab it, and then down, slow, controlling the scapula, don't let it come back out. Think about it, feel it. Okay, there's two. Punch, reach up, 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 really protrude, and then down, slow. So there's that one there. Okay, the last one, this will be plenty. Um, Again, closed chain, closed chain meaning your hands are in contact with the surface, like the push-up, like on the wall. Uh, that other last one was an open chain because your arms are moving, but this one on the dip machine will be closed chain as well. Just kicks in all the stabilizing muscles around the shoulder better. So we're gonna be up here this way, and you're gonna be, um, gonna be up here, lean forward slightly, kick the abs in, but then push up here and hold, punch down, and hold, one, two, three, four, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then reverse that back down. There's one. Do the same thing again. Get into position. Tuck the, tuck the hips up and in. Engage the abs and push down. So you're getting the straightest anterior. Punch it, punch it down. Hold. Two, three, four. It's hard. I'm shaking. It's hard. Nine, ten. Okay. All right. So those are about five or six. Uh, things to work on for, us, for the straightest anterior um, and for a winging scapula. Now remember we talked about at the beginning, um, you have to work, think about the tightness in the anterior shoulder. If, you're, if you feel like your shoulder's you know, rounded forward on that side and it's, you look at somebody from the side and the shoulder is coming forward, that has to be addressed first uh, with, some, with, with those specific stretch, stretches to get those muscles kind of loosened up and back. Then we'll work on the strengthening to get the straightest anterior to kick in. And that should take care of most of that winging problem in the straightest anterior. Okay, uh, thanks a lot for watching.